once a dreaded Maoist of the Raipur district of Chhattisgarh in India, Sundari alias Lalita is now serving as a constable in district reserve guard or DRG. What would have made this possible? Developmental works coupled with rehabilitation come surrender policy of Chhattisgarh government. This has been emerging as a wave of positive change in the worst insurgency hit Bastar region. The significant outcome of this has been the fact that many Naxal cadres are shunning the path of violence to join the mainstream of society. Realizing the hollow ideology of banned outlawed organization, Communist Party of India Maoist, and in discrimination with the organization Sundari, who was associated with the banned organization for 10 years and carrying a bounty of rupees 8 lakh, quit Naxal movement years ago. Currently, Sundari is playing a leading role in the battle against Naxalism and registering her active participation in the anti-Naxal campaign for the safety of the public. Due to meticulous planning and strategy of Sundari, security forces succeeded in arresting and eliminating Naxal cadres during the encounter. Sundari, who surrendered before police along with her husband, revealed that several youths wanted to surrender, but they lacked accessibility to police. The woman Naxal was forcefully inducted into the outlawed organization when she was 15 years old. Initially, she was the part of cultural wing of the outfit, after working in a separate post, Sundari was eventually elevated to the A Company. Sundari had played a key role in ambushes that killed several security personnel in Basta region. She also revealed that Naxal leaders from Andhra Pradesh exploit youths in the organization. To surrender and join the mainstream of the society, Sundari walked round the clock and crossed dense forest, hills, river, and Nalla and reached the district headquarter. Around 400 cadres surrender before security forces yearly in seven districts under Basta region on an average. The camps of the security forces set up in the interior areas and the awareness being spread among the villages are also one of the main reasons for the surrender of the Naxals in Basta region, which witnesses highest number of incidents in the country. While talking to ANI, Sundari revealed that she was active in a battalion under, Ma under MAD division in Narayanpur district and involved in separate incidents, including Batum ambush in 2010, Urpal Metawada and Kudur Ghatti. Hailing from a restive village in insurgency hit district, Sundari said that her elder brother was working for the government. Therefore, the Naxals took her with them when she was 15 years old. In 2014, me and my husband came to Gidam, where a person gave me a paper following which we contacted the personnel of Chhattisgarh Armed Force, expressing our desire to quit Naxal movement, she recalled, adding that after surrender, they got a quarter to live, she revealed. Senior leaders in the band organization belong to Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Maharashtra, said, Bastar Range Inspector General of Police, Sundar Rajpi. He said the Naxal leaders managed to inject innocent youths by misleading them in the name of forest, land, and water. After joining the Naxal organization, the youths learn about the true face of Naxalism. In the last 22 years, Naxals have killed over 1,700 people by branding them as police informers or by other reasons. Naxalism is the biggest obstacle in the development of Bastar, according to the official. Meanwhile, in an unfortunate incident on Wednesday, 10 policemen and their driver were killed when their vehicle was blown up by an improvised explosive device in Chhattisgarh's uh, Dantewada district in Bastar region. The policemen were returning from an anti-Maoist operation that was launched after intelligence inputs. The policemen belonged to the district reserve guard, a special force of the Chhattisgarh police that comprises mostly local tribal people who have been trained to combat Maoists. But still, let's keep the hope alive that in future, more and more Naxals will discard the path of extremism and lead a normal life as other good Samaritans.